A shocking 911 call triggered an investigation into Hacienda Healthcare facility in Phoenix after a woman in a vegetative state gave birth. The 29-year-old woman has been incapacitated since she was three. One of the healthcare providers made the call. Phoenix, oh, the baby's turning blue! Baby's turning blue! Okay, where are you at? Wait, you don't know I'm What is the address, ma'am? Baby's turning blue! Baby's turning blue! What's the emergency? Someone just had a baby. One of our patients just had a baby, and we had no idea she was pregnant. Okay, is the baby you are not out? Prepared for that. Baby's turning blue. We need someone now. Okay, all right. Go in there with the baby, and I want you to, I want you to walk this through, okay? All right. I'm going to be on the line with you. What's your phone number? And the mom is doing okay? Uh, we're not sure. We had no idea this patient was pregnant. Okay, and the this respiratory is the patient. doing... Uh, we have respiratory here, and okay, we have nurses doing here. Compression? Or yeah, what's I'm, going on I, right now? Were we able to get the baby out? Is the baby breathing? Is the baby breathing? Baby's not breathing. Baby is blue. Okay, so are they doing CPR? Are they doing... Yeah, they're doing CPR on the baby. Okay, good. Just keep going with that. And how's the mom doing? Mom's doing well. It looks like she's doing well. How far along is she? Of vital? We, we had no idea this person was pregnant. We had no idea this patient was pregnant. Okay, I understand. Did they, does she know how, how far along she was or anything? We have no idea. We, no. This is a complete surprise. We were not expecting this. Okay, and the, the baby, is the baby responsive? Or no? Is the baby responsive? No. No, baby's not responsive. Okay, and they're still doing compressions, right? We're, and they're they, still, yeah, they're still trying to do compressions and they're suctioning the baby. Okay, good. Good, you guys are doing a great job. We got help on the way, okay? Alrighty. Thank you. Do I just hang up with you and then just no, go back no, to the just baby? Stay on the line. Stay, stay on, on the line. line. I want to okay. see how they're doing, okay? I need you to give me the address. Should we get place. vitals on mom? Here, let's get the vital machine. I want vitals on mom. But she had a baby. What a baby. Look at there's a baby right there. Okay. They're still doing compressions on the baby, right? Yeah, and mom's doing fine. Okay. Mom is doing fine. She is a we're going to about to take some vitals on her, but so far she looks stable. Is there any signs of life from the baby? Any signs of life from the baby yet? The baby's breathing? Oh, the baby's breathing. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank God. Okay. The victim suffered multiple seizures as a child, which left her intellectually disabled, nonverbal, and in a vegetative state since she was a toddler. She remains anonymous following the case. Reports say she can still experience pain and respond, including crying when she's uncomfortable. She had been at the nonprofit state funded center since childhood. During the investigation, it was revealed that the victim was sexually assaulted on multiple occasions over the years, allegedly by Nathan Sutherland. Sutherland was a nurse at the care facility and was arrested in 2019. The accused was going through a divorce in 2018 and his co-workers presumed that was the cause of his stress. One co-worker described him as friendly, fun, and outgoing, saying most people liked him. A second colleague said they visited the rooms together, and Sutherland would stay by himself to look after patients when she left. But he was always professional. Sutherland had a transitional housing program which he started with other family members. The article of Incorporation for Life in You, a charity, was to show Christ's unconditional love by responding to the spiritual and physical needs of the homeless, development-disabled individuals, as well as orphans in the Phoenix area. The charity was registered in 2009, with Sutherland named on the board of directors. It is now inactive. The accused also used to be a Christian rapper before he went into nursing. He had no criminal history or complaints prior to the case. Multiple former staff members from the facility have questioned how the woman's pregnancy could go unnoticed for nine months, especially since she's bathed by the nurses. Leading up to the birth, the victim was treated for constipation and weight gain. They even adjusted her diet. In the aftermath of the case, Hacienda Healthcare CEO Bill Timmons handed in his resignation. This was soon followed by the resignation of a physician and the suspension of another. The facility was closed in February 2019. The Arizona Department of Health Services finally revoked its license due to negligence after finding a male patient with maggots on him. Shockingly, the center regained its license a few months later. Sutherland's case is still ongoing. He maintains his innocence, with his attorney saying there were 36 other male nurses it could have been. 
he was arrested after his DNA matched the baby's DNA. At the same time, the victim's family filed a lawsuit against the state for $45 million, accusing it of gross negligence. They say they had requested their daughter only be looked after by female nurses after a complaint she was touched inappropriately in 2002. Due to the pandemic, there is no indication of when the case against Sutherland will resume. The baby is in the victim's mother's care. Don't forget to like this video if you found it interesting, and subscribe to join us in the next episode of True 911.